Today we're doing a reduction reaction with potassium permanganate, a little sodium hydroxide and sugar, and we're using a stir plate. And at the bottom of this plate, there's a little magnet. And that magnet is over an electromagnet that turns. And as it turns, it creates this vortex, which is great, so that the solution continually mixes over time. And we're going to ask Caleb over here to add first the sodium hydroxide and the sugar. So Caleb, stand up. And he's got one solution here of sodium hydroxide. Go ahead and pour this slowly on the vortex so it doesn't disrupt the vortex slowly. Oh, Pour it in there. You're doing just fine. There we go. All of it in there. That's good. Okay, and now he's going to add the sugar. There's the sugar. Pour that in. And we got to wait until it's all mixed together. Until that sugar is completely dissolved. And that's where the stir plate really helps out a lot. So we're going to wait a minute for that to dissolve. Darren has our second beaker of potassium permanganate. Slowly add that, Darren, and let's look for a color change here from purple to blue to green to orange. There we go. There we go. Yeah, now it looks kind of green, doesn't it? Okay, and stop there because it's getting pretty full. Okay, and we should see it turn to even kind of an orange yellow there. But definitely from purple to green, you can see how purple the potassium permanganate is. And we add it with that sodium hydroxide and sugar, it immediately starts the reduction reaction. You can see it turning colors there. Good job, Darren, very cool. Okay, I'm back with Darren now and Darren, it looks like it went from purple and now to green and now it looks looks like it's pretty yellow, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Let's go back to the original, what it originally looked like. It originally looked like this. So a big color change there. Nice job, Darren. 